<laughs> hey, everybody, Corey Martin here, former NFL linebacker and author of the book, Make a Touchdown of Your Life. Hey, welcome to Touchdown Studios. I am glad you're here. It's so great to have you. Today, I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about vision. And I want to talk about, um, more importantly, on top of vision, uh, four, I guess you could say four keys, or I call it the four W's, uh, to unleashing your vision, right? The four W's to unleashing your vision. So we'll dive in here and talk about vision and uh, talk about four components, right? Four, four pieces, four components uh, to vision. So let's say four um, uh, components, components, right, to vision. Uh, first off, number one, first off and foremost, number one, right, you have to have one, period. You have to have one, right? You, you got to have a vision. You, you got to have an idea of where you want to go and how you're going to get there. Uh, it's just like if you try to take a cross-country trip from uh, Los Angeles to New York, right, without a road map, right? That road map serves as your vision uh, for the trip, right? And so, number one, you have to have one, right? There's no getting around it. If you want to do, exceed playing small in life and do great things, boom, you got to have a vision. Number two, I'd call it masterpiece. Master piece. What do I mean by masterpiece? I mean, your vision is the Picasso, the, the Rembrandt before it's actually painted. You feel me? It is, the, it, is the, it is the beautiful picture on the wall of what you see and, and what you want before it actually comes true. So you got to have one first, right? Then you paint it. You paint that masterpiece in your mind first. Number three, which is key. Don't. Don't set limits. Don't set limits on where you want to go and the picture it looks like. Don't set any limits. So right now, you might say, you know what? In three years, I want to make a quarter of a million dollars. In six months, I want to lose 50 pounds, 100 pounds. Uh, in one year, I want to write a book. Uh, in two years, I want to start a bakery. Don't lose sight of that. Maybe you have a big dream like me to own your own uh, basketball or, or NFL team one day. That's my dream. But, but don't set any limits. Don't set limits. Any limits, boom, you gotta have one. Boom, it's your masterpiece, it's your vision, it's your Picasso before it's actually handcrafted and done. And don't set limits. And last one, right? See, see beyond Helps you see beyond reality. See your vision to you, to some, to your vision to you is pure. It's life. It's energy. It's you. But to the next person, he or she might say, "Man, you are crazy. Get out of here with that mess." It doesn't matter, right? It helps you see beyond reality, and that's all you care about. That's all that matters. It does not matter what anyone else says about your dream or your plan or your focus or where you want to go because you know what? It is yours. It is yours and nobody else's. So to recap, vision, four components of vision. First of all, you got to have a vision, right? You won't be able to do anything, anything worthwhile that you have capacity to do without having a vision. Number two, it's your masterpiece of art before you actually painted it. 
you know what it looks like, every every detail, every sketch. Now, will it change along the way? Yeah. But you know every piece, every curve, every indentation of what it looks like for you to get there. Number three, don't set any limits. Don't set not one limit for your goal. So if your goal is to have a, a yacht, if your goal is to travel to every country with the next five years, so be it. Whatever your goal is, whatever your dream is, whatever your vision is, hold true to it because it's yours. And lastly, see beyond reality. Because you think right now, man, right now I'm, I got two kids. Uh, I, you know, I make a good living in my job, but I, I can't see myself really getting there. It doesn't matter what you see right now. All that matters is you have the dream and you hold on to it. And you start making concrete steps on the way towards it. And what happens is when you make concrete steps towards your dream, towards your destiny, towards your goal, towards your Mount Everest, things open up for you that you could never imagine. So forget about the how you're going to get there. Forget about the how. Keep the why big enough. Keep the why big enough. And boy, you'll do wonderful things. I promise you that. I told you also we're going to dive in today uh, to the four W's, right? The four W's of how to unleash your vision to know exactly what you want. Boy, God, it's right in my arm hurting here. Forget about going to the gym today. Just all this arm movement here, right? So we talk about four, the four W's. Number one, I love it. If you want to find your vision, start here first. What do you love? You know, what do you love? There's got to be one or two things that, that you love to do, that you enjoy doing. That if you sat down, you say, you know what? This can actually change the world and help people, and I can live my passion and live what I love to do, right? There's got to be one or two things that you love to do, right? So that's number one, right, of the four W's. What do you love? Number two. You know, what is your passion? What gets you out of bed every day? What are you alive for? Why do you choose to put your pants on and leave the house? You know, what does it for you? I know for me, it's, it's, it's my, my company's mission to change one million lives. And so me doing this is, you see, this is what I love to do. This is me, you know, energy and excitement because I'm, I'm teaching, I'm, I'm instructing, I'm coaching. Say, hey, you know what? You have potential. You know, what is your passion? What do you want to give your life work to? Number three. What is your, I'm sorry, what, excuse me, what inspires? you? What inspires you? Um, you know, if, if you could not fail, right? If you had, if there is failure, and, it, and failure doesn't exist in me anyway, but, but if you could not fail, what, what would you attempt? How bold would you be, right? How high would you jump? How far would you leap? If you could not fail and you say, you know what? <laughs> Let's go do it. Ain't nothing to lose. You know, what inspires you? What inspires you? to move, to act, to jump, to create, to bounce, to springboard, to say, you know what? It's my time. It's my time. What inspires you? And lastly, number four, what drives you? What drives you? A, a mentor of mine uh, named Les Brown, a phenomenal motivational speaker, um, come from very humble, humble and very meager beginnings uh, in, in Liberty City, Florida. He talked about how his hunger 
and his drive to be a great speaker and to get paid well as a speaker was to uh, take care of his mom, right? Uh, to take care of the person who gave him who, who who gave him the ability to do more in life. That's what drove him. You know what drives you? See, I, I, I'm driven by the, the mere fact that I was told that I couldn't do things in life younger, right? You couldn't go to Notre Dame. Yeah, you, know, you can't play in the NFL. You can't own restaurants. Uh, you, you, what, what I couldn't do, I couldn't, you can't, you can't, you won't, you can't do. Well, forget that. Forget that. And you should too. What drives you? What drives you to get out of bed and say, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's for me. That drive. So to recap the four W's, what do you love? What, what is your passion? I got to put a U. Your passion. Excuse me. What is your passion? What inspires you? And what drives you? Answering those questions can spark this. It's all about sparking that vision. It's all about sparking that vision. As always, thank you for joining me in Touchdown Studios. Uh, it's such a pl pleasure and privilege for me to, 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 to train, to coach, to talk, to help, to change lives. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. You have an ability to do wonderful things. Just let it out. And don't forget, it's always your choice to get off the sideline and to get into the game. Have a blessed one.